This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Jen Stiles with me from Raise the Curtains. Welcome back. Hi, Kathy. We're going to talk about the play that you've got going on this year, uh, and it's called The Descendants, and it's a Disney. Let's talk about what, what's right. it about. So it's about the Isle of the Lost, all of the evil Disney characters' children. So it's got Mal, who's Maleficent's daughter, it's got Jafar's son, and Grimhilda's daughter. So it's all the kids, and they interact with all the good kids, like Cinderella's kid and Ben and Belle, you know, all the all the good princess princes, all their kids. So there's an interaction between them. Oh, excellent. That sounds like a lot of fun. It is, yeah. Excellent. So, so the good side and the, the bad side come together. Excellent. And Disney always uh, makes it work so well, too. So I'm sure you're going to do a wonderful job with this with our local actors, too. So let's talk about some of the children that are involved. I think we have about 13. A couple of them are playing a couple parts. Um, some of them, it's their first performance. And then a few of them I had, a good handful of them I had from uh, before doing Alice in Christmas Land. So we have some old ones, we have some new ones. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So can we talk a little bit about Raise the Curtains too? How did you get that started? Um, my daughter is 13 now and she decided she really likes singing and theater. So I thought, oh, well, why not? We'll just create a group and do our own. So I did. <laughs> and, and you are, the, you are it. You're the director, you're the manager, you're stage manager, yeah. you're the, yeah, yeah, the stage Choreographer. coach. Oh my goodness, yeah. everything, everything. Yeah. So, and where do you practice? Uh, the Trinity United Church in Smith Falls. Okay. And every the last... Tuesday from 5.30 to 7.30. And the last play you put on, what was that? Alice in Christmas Land. And did you perform in the church as well that time when you we did We did for that one. For that one, we performed in the church. But for the Disney one, it's a much bigger scale. So we're going to PDCI. You're moving on up. You're going to the theater. We are. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So yeah. I, have the children practiced in the theater yet? No, we do that actually the Monday and the Friday before the show. They'll have two opportunities because they've never actually worked with head mics before, the ear mics. So that'll be the first time doing that. So I'm uh, nervous. Yeah, well, and that, that's a whole different way of uh, performing as well because they're not yeah. going to just hear themselves on stage. They're going to hear themselves out there. Yeah, that's it'll right. be new for all of them. I don't think any of them have ever experienced before, so oh, it'll my be goodness. interesting. It's a great opportunity, my goodness. Someday you're going to look yeah. back at some of these children and they're going to be on TV, radio, all that sort of stuff, and they started with yeah, Raise I've the Curtains. I've had curtain. a couple telling me that, yeah. That's what they want to do. That's what they yeah. want to do. Excellent, excellent. So can you talk a little bit about, you know, how, how auditions go and how, how do children get involved with Raise the Curtains? So usually I will hold an audition and the audition is just basically for the kids to come in and sing their song and do a reading. That way I have the chance to choose their part for the following play. So everybody gets a part. It just helps me choose what part they will have for the following play. Okay, so you have a play in mind when the children audition? Oh yes, okay. I'll have one chosen, yeah, for when they audition. So the next one in the fall for the older children will be Greece. Will be Greece. And how did you choose that one? Uh, it's just something from the past that I just really enjoy and always wanted to be a pinky girl. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, you're one of the pinky. Yeah, that's right. It'll be right. fun. Oh, that, that will yeah. be fun. That will be fun. Yeah. So the, the, is there an age for the children to be involved? Yeah. So, well, for that performance is 13 to 17 in around there, 12 if they have experience. And I will also hold a younger group. I haven't decided the show that I will do for that one yet, but there will be a younger age show as well. So I, when we're talking about the, the play that you're doing right now to the Descendants, costumes, where do you get the costumes? Uh, some of them I buy from like HalloweenCostumes.ca. Uh, some of them we just have to invent. Well, you know, just get some Absolutely. clothing and rip it up. So yeah, we just do some creations and just buy from wherever they're available shops. yes absolutely. yeah we don't have a seamstress yet so i'm just kind of working with what i have and i can't sew so i'm not the seamstress <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the only thing you don't know how to do my goodness <laughs> my goodness so the the play itself is on saturday june 17th yeah and that's going to be at pdci at two o'clock and seven o'clock that's right okay now i did notice that you had uh another location in nepean too so you're doing this with a whole different set of children i am wow yeah yeah, I have two locations now. So you're doing two plays, two separate cast members. Yep. Almost two at the different same locations. Time. Uh, and, yeah. and that one is on June 18th. 
Yeah. And then next year, I'm hoping to also branch out to Perth. Wow. So I'll have one location in Perth, one location in Smith Falls, and one in Nepean. Great. Good for you. My goodness. That's amazing. That's amazing. So uh, you're, you've got a connection to the, to the uh, Ottawa area, too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, we work out of the, right now it's out of the Julian of Norwich Church. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What great opportunities for these children. So the next one you've got going on is Greece. You're going to post when uh, you're going to be doing uh, Yeah, that'll start in that? the fall when in the kids the go back to school, yeah. You you need to take a break, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my summer is off. There will be no summer camps. I've had people asking me, will you be doing summer camp? Huh? No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. <laughs> and, I mean, the summer is going to fly by, too, because you only get a couple of months off, and then you're going to be starting That's back right. at this. So. More information about the Descendants on, uh, on uh, June 17th. How do people get tickets? Ahead of so time. Uh, the company that we are going through is called OnStage. So they could uh, log into OnStage tickets and or else they can go on, raise the curtains on Facebook and they'll find the link there. Okay. And you do have a great Facebook page too. Oh, it needs a lot of work. Um. I'm in social media. So <laughs> I do social media for a living, but my own page is lacking but I'm working on it. Uh, the mechanics car is always the last one to be fixed, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So for more information about Raise the Curtains, how do people get a hold of you then? Uh, their best way is to just go to the Facebook page yeah. or I do have a website, uh, www.raisethecurtains.ca. Uh, but it's easiest if they go probably to Facebook and just send me a message through there. All right. And once again, how do people get tickets to The Descendants? Either log into the Raise the Curtains page and the link is on there or on stage tickets, I believe it's called. All right. I, this is amazing that you put this on once, but you're putting it on twice with two different casts of children, too. So good for you for doing this. What great opportunities for our youth. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining us today, Jen Stiles, uh, the everything for Raise the Curtains. <laughs> We're talking the director, the producer, the, the costume maker, everything. You're, you're wonderful. And I think it's great opportunities for our children. And like we say, we're going to look at uh, on TV and radio someday and we're going to say, hey, they were on Raise the Curtains, one of the, <laughs> the plays there. So thank yeah. you very much for joining us and for everything you do for great. our youth. Thank you, Kathy.